hi, I'm Seb Ko, and I'm going to be talking about my life, uh, the early years, the definitive account of my athletics years, some of the more hidden moments in my political years, and of course, the extraordinary journey from a big city to the delivery of an Olympic uh, and Paralympic Games. I took up running actually seriously because I loved running. My parents, and I talk about this in the book, my parents will tell, will, would, would have told you that it was probably the only thing I did. You know, from the age of two and a half, I was out of a pram, bicycles, although my father was actually a very good racing cyclist, bicycles never caught my imagination. I would run everywhere. I would run from home to school. I would run from home into town, and that was sometimes maybe a couple of miles either way. And I would do that comfortably at the age of seven. It seemed to be the easiest and the most pleasurable way of moving around. And, and actually, even to this day, the, the, one of the nicest sensations is arriving in, in, in a town or a city you've never been to before, hopefully in reasonable weather, putting on your running kit at even 10 o'clock at night and just going and exploring a town and finding things that you'll never find at a more leisurely pace and certainly not from a car or a bicycle. The sport is deep in the DNA of every community in this country. You know, if you, you sit on a bus or a tube or in the pub, you know, once you've got through the perfunctory small talk and pleasantries, I can actually guarantee that the one thing that most people will probably spend most of the evening talking about is sport. You know, not just the crash bang wallop of, you know, what's happening at Stamford Bridge on a Tuesday night, but a much more detailed, discursive look at sport. If you look at the way sport impacts on all our communities, whether parents standing al alongside touchlines or the role of a club like Haring Athletic Club. I was a member of Haring Athletic Club. I was its captain, then became its president. I know the role of that club. It was much more than just simply rolling out Olympic talent. It was actually probably creating the only anchor points in the lives of young people during the course of their week. Actually, probably the only m male role models that many of those young people had during the course of that week. So it's, sport is profound. It really shapes our lives. It's the heartbeat of this nation, probably the heartbeat of this nation in a way that few other things are.